Hey guys, we're here at Blue Horticulture at our passive solar greenhouse. Um, thought we'd give you a tour today, show you how it works, why we think it's really cool, and why we think it's a, a cool way to grow transplants for you. So come on inside. So this is a passive solar greenhouse, and that means that there is no heat source other than the sun. So the way we make this work, and, and you know, it, it has been tested. We went down to 19 degrees outside this winter, and we only got down to 43 inside the greenhouse. So um, it had really good insulation value, really good heat retention capacity, so it worked. Um, so, the way this thing works, this is due south, and so we have full sun exposure on the southern sky, or the, on the southern sky. So when the sun is low on the horizon in the winter, you get maximum penetration all the way up against the north wall of the greenhouse. And you'll notice this north wall is one fully stick frame insulated. It's framed just like a house would be on the north side. But it also has a ton, 24 50 gallon drums filled with water. And what these do, they absorb heat from the sun during the day. And then at night, they slowly release that heat back into the greenhouse. Now, we also add a little bit of technology to make it more efficient. So, we add these HAF fans, or horizontal airflow fans, and we have two of them. And those come on when the temperature is below 55 degrees inside the greenhouse. And what they do is they swirl the air inside the greenhouse, bringing hot air back down from the ceiling, and moving it back down to plant level, but they also circulate the air around those water barrels. So they extract the heat from the water barrels and bring that heat back out into the greenhouse. Now, we're now moving into the summer, so if these water barrels absorbed a lot of heat during the day, that would be a big problem because right now in South Carolina, we're trying to not gain any unnecessary heat in the greenhouse. So we have this overhang over top of the back wall. And when the sun is high in the horizon during the summer, this overhang completely shades the water barrels. So they don't ever receive any sun um, during the, you know, summer part of the year, basically from uh, the vernal equinox to the autumnal equinox. They're completely shaded. So they really help to buffer the temperature down at that point. Uh, we also have end vents on each end of the greenhouse that open up at 72 degrees. And we have um, passive vents that open up at 72 degrees at the top of the greenhouse. And since they both open up at 72 degrees, this allows for a chimney effect venting. So it just allows the greenhouse to, you know, hot air to rise, to pull cool air in from outside and roll it out of the top of the greenhouse. Now we also have some active ventilation because it's a greenhouse in South Carolina. So at 85 degrees, we have these active fans that come on, and those suck air from the, through the end vents and exhaust out the top of the greenhouse. So that's the way this thing works. It's pretty cool. We also have an aluminate shade cloth on top that is um, basically like an aluminum foil that goes over the top that reflects a lot of heat instead of um, like a traditional shade cloth where it would be black and it would it would stop light penetration but it would absorb heat this actually reflects that light and that heat back off up into space so it's not getting stuck inside the greenhouse 
Also, from an insulation perspective, um, I had mentioned the north wall is stick frame, fully insulated, just like a house, so that's going to have like an R30 value. The south wall and the south ceiling is double layer inflated greenhouse plaster, six millimeter uh, greenhouse plastic. And it's inflated with this little blower that you hear running. So it actually creates a little um, insulation bubble in between those two layers of plastic. And that helps um, add some R value insulation capacity to the greenhouse. And then the end walls, either end, are made with uh, twin layer polycarbonate panel. So they also have a, a small amount of insulation value as well. So the whole point of the greenhouse during the winter is to lose as little heat as possible so that what we pick up from the sun is enough to carry us through the night. And during the summer, it's the exact opposite. We're trying to absorb as little, as little heat as possible so we never get hot during the day. Thanks for checking us out. If you have any questions, let us know.